what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The great bat swings and fur. Reflects the light beam. With light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Please, Dad. Wake up! Dad! Don't leave me! 
Morning. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Possible. I can't carry any more. How's your arm? A little stiff, but okay. How's your back? Fine. You can explore if you want, but I'm not going back there. I'll wait here for you. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type.
depiction of Apuk, god of death and ruler of Mitnell, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing Apuk enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. might represent one of the lords of Shabalba. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. Amazing, is this a pocket top court? And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, 
A pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnel, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnel's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnel's guilt, and he was quickly executed. Lock the other counterweight. a bit of progress. Thank <laughs> you. 
hope this ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. My dear Nina, once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote her before, all of those pinhead-sized stinging horrors, would have been a welcome attrition now that I faced down tooth and claw. I fought bravely, but the confrontation did not go in my favor. I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism. 
My wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you are reading this, then you know I have not survived this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I'm tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago, and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, labored groans of pain, and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch. But Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. I think we'll find in Kuapiaku. Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs>
There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Crap stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about it? Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who drove onto a body bridge. Hello, oh, hold up. I got him. Hold on, they're friendlies. Keep your eyes open. Someone should check back there. And I'll do it. Put her right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. Quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's a main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins we might have missed before. Okay. Really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce it. We're gonna have to find something to brace against. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. Enough covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. Alright. You go left. I'll take these guys. But what in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. Those guys. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Day! Day! No, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. I hope that's the last of them. Civilization I was hoping to run into. Ugh, my arm is so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was... creative. Adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. After her death, it was... more lonely. That did it. Nice. 
Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? Did you lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? Oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years had been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now? Who is that guy anyway? Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, 
Paul Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the Board of Executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Veneer. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. There's no mistaking that bright golden disc. Inti, the most important god of the Inca. He was the god of the sun, protector of the people, and the provider of warmth and light. Some legends also credit him with teaching humans the ways of civilization. And the Incan emperors were either considered his lineal descendants or physical incarnations of Inti on Earth, depending on which emperor you asked.
This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another. And another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. 
When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz, Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet. If you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds, something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs, and a mysterious light glowing within. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kuakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD, these parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Traditionally woven from fabric and stuffed with reeds and grains, the burial dolls are frequently shown holding something in their hand, like a musical instrument or a ball of yarn. In this instance, the doll is holding a toddler, perhaps signifying that the deceased was a mother.
But this one is made from modern materials. I suppose Paul Veneer could have made it as a promotional toy. Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh. Well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming. Vibrant. Full of life and so optimistic for the future. Pfft. Optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Just arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. A couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. I know it sounds silly giving you a 